River. I got my work cut out for me, River. I don't want it to go into that electric. That's one thing when you have the anchor mode on, that electric is spinning around. So you gotta be careful your line doesn't go around it when you're fighting a fish. Nice head shakes. It's a good idea when you're using a minnow imitating lure with three trebles, let that fish fight out before you try flipping it in the boat and handling it. If it gets off, it's okay. It's only got one hook, I think, in them, which is perfect. Just trying to get the shaft of the hook very important, not the actual hook itself, because you can bend it. You hold them up. Can you see the wind fluttering on my shirt? Man, it is windy. Look at, isn't that a beautiful sight? I can't suspend him because those waves are pretty big. I'm just gonna let, let him go. And he should go down. Look at, straight down to the bottom. Now, you know, even though I've had good luck with the small mouth with the ripstop, this is that original Rapala, the same one that I like to use for the gar pike. And it has no sound chamber. So it's, it's, I think, made out of some kind of balsa wood. This one is called the Bleeding Lip Series because the lip is that red color. And it's, this is classic baitfish color. It's got black back, a little bit of like greenish gold, and then it's got that nice silver side. Because there's no snap on the original Rapala, I had to use a knot that actually allows the lure to move back and forth. So if you take a close look at this Rapala where the eye is, you'll see that there's a loose knot. I call it the non-slip loose knot. It's kind of like a rappella knot. And you can see that I've left over a, about a quarter to half inch tag of my braided line. Because if that knot is gonna slip, I don't want it to come undone. Smallmouth bass can really vary in color. I have caught smallmouth bass, for example, out of the Detroit River or Lake St. Clair, where they're almost a milky white color. So they take on the color of the water around them. On the flip side, I've caught smallmouth bass from Clearwater Lakes, where there's a lack of vegetation and a lot of dark rocks. And they are like bronze back with brilliant stripes along the side. And they tend to be very aggressive. I've caught them in river systems where the water goes anywhere from five to 15 feet deep and there's a mix of rocks and weeds and there they're a combination of color. They've got like a dark green or brown back, some of them a little bit of black on the belly and just green on the sides. You know what, it doesn't matter what color they are. They are pugnacious, they've got an attitude. So when they hit something, whether it's a top water, a suspending bait like a twitch bait, a crank bait, or even a jig on the bottom like a tube, when you hook one, you know it. And a lot of times they head straight for the surface, jump out of the water, throw the bait out and say bye-bye. You know, I'm so thankful with these windy conditions that I can still work my electronics. So I've got my motor guide XI-5 that I'm actually going into the wind and working the shoreline, but also my Dragonfly Raymarine unit that's attached to the bottom of my electric. So right now it's reading about 14, 15 feet. You can see that we're right on the break. So what I'm trying to do is stay on that 15 foot break and I'm casting into about four or five feet of water. You know, I've got the remote in my hand. I'm not using a foot control and I prefer that so I can walk around. And it's kind of hard, you know, keeping your eye on the direction that you're going in, watching the dragon fly, and seeing where you're casting and getting ready for a hit. You know, even under these conditions, I've been using a bait caster, but a spinning outfit is really, really handy. Especially when you're casting some of these lighter baits into the wind. Part of my strategy is to try to cast, obviously, three quarters with the wind or with the wind, so I can get my best cast. But I find that a light action rod, like the one I'm using here, this is a two-piece, it's an R-type spinning outfit. Because it's got a soft tip, when you get a hit with the twitch baits, you actually get a better hook set because there's about a one second delay. You know, when you set the hook, the rod bends a bit, and then the hook goes into the fish. I don't know if it's gonna be any easier flipping it into the boat from here. That was nice, you know what? I'm gonna have a seat, probably about a pound and a half. Respectable fish, you know, especially with these conditions when it's so rough, man, and windy. So I'm just gonna pop him in over the side. All righty, Mr. Bass, I'm not gonna hold you long. And look, these guys are going straight to the bottom. They're not going horizontal.